I'm Olivia, and I'm going to be reading the Bible story, Ruth 1, which is Ruth and or Orpah follow Naomi. So, um, before reading this story, I want to tell you that today's story feels really sad and hard, and so um, this story shows us what being open and present to the people along the way can look like. When our compassion is strong, we are alive to the feelings of others around us, open to feeling what they feel, and how we can be with and support them in those feelings. Okay. In Judah, there was once a man named Elan Lech who worried about how his family would survive the famine. He took his wife, Naomi, and their two sons, Malon and Chilion, to the country of Moab. They settled there and made a life among the people. Soon their sons, their sons married two women named Orpah and Ruth. Sadly, Naomi's husband passed away, and then even her two sons died too. Naomi missed her family and wanted to go back home, so she began the long journey back to Judah. As was the custom for daughters-in-law, Orpah and Ruth followed her, but Naomi insisted that they stay at home in Moab. Go back with your family. May the Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with your husbands and me. Peace be with you. Then Naomi hugged them goodbye, and they all cried together. But Orpah and Ruth were determined to follow her. Naomi tried to persuade them. I do not want to ruin your chance at marriage and having your own family. If you stay with me, you will have nothing, because I cannot give you anything. I have lost everything, and my heart is so bitter. They all cried together once again. Orpah decided to go back, but Ruth clung to Naomi even more. Naomi said to Ruth, Don't stay with me. Go back with Orpah. Orpah. But Ruth opened up to her. Don't make me leave you. Where you go, I will go. Where you make your home, I will make mine. Your people will be my people, your God, my God. And where you die and are buried, I will be buried there too. I will be your family. When Naomi saw that she couldn't change Ruth's mind, her heart softened. She accepted Ruth and they traveled back to Judah together. Ruth lovingly took care of Naomi and she became like a daughter to her. Sometimes it's hard to know what direction to take. But if we are present to the experiences of those around us, we can trust God's spirit to show us the compassionate way. Naomi showed compassion to Ruth and Orpah and by encouraging them to return to their families. Ruth showed compassion to Naomi by going with her, and Orpah showed compassion by supporting Ruth's decision while making the choice that was best for her. All of them gave compassion in their own way, showing us that there are many ways to follow the spirit's leading to love and care. Thank you.